Okay, guys, part two. I'm going to start drinking wine while I'm talking to you. Just kidding. Um, but turkey meatloaf. This is a, another. I told you guys I got so sick of the um, turkey meatballs. And again, this kind of looks like vomit. But um, this stuff is so yummy. In fact, when I was working at my last job, um, I would bring this in. And I would have it. And then my one friend was asking me, can I take a bite of that? You know, all of them made fun of me for eating healthy and whatever. But they tried it and they're like, damn, that's good. All you do is you take one package of ground turkey. I tend to use the um, Jenny O, um, but you can use anything. I go to Trader Joe's and actually their ground turkey is cheaper. Go figure. Um, and it's fully organic than the, the Jenny O. But you take a, a package of that, throw it in a bowl. I take two, this is from memory, take two eggs, beat them up in a little ramekin, throw the eggs in there. I take Italian breadcrumbs, you can make your own. I just take, it's already made up and I sprinkle it over the top. I'm guessing maybe half a cup. I totally don't measure it. Worcestershire sauce over the top, salt or garlic salt. I like garlic, garlic salt uh, and pepper. And then what you do is you take half of a big onion. So I'm gonna say an onion, you know, a pretty big onion, but you basically need Honestly, I don't know what the recipe calls for, but if you have a big onion, you know, a pretty big size onion, cut it in half, chop it up. I use purple onions because they're a little sweeter. Um, use whatever ones you want. Yellow onions are also sweet. I kind of feel like I have my own cooking show right now. Um, but chop it up, saute it in olive oil, and I, again, I sprinkle a little bit of pepper and garlic salt in that. Saute it for 10 minutes until they're soft. And don't do what I did last night by burning it because I walked away. Um, but saute it until they're soft and then let it cool for a minute. Dump that in to your, um, to your mess of turkey. Squish it all up. You're gonna have to use your hands, uh, which is why you wanna let those onions cool a little bit. Otherwise, you're gonna put your hands in and be like, ah! Um, so, squish it all up. Put it into a bread loaf pan, which you sprayed with Pam or butter, however, whatever your process is. Um, put it in here and cook it 50 to 55 minutes on 350. Um, so easy. I mean, honestly, prep time, the most you're looking at is 15 minutes because all you got to do is really saute the onion and that's it. It is very yummy. Everybody likes it. I mean, my dad, who was so not into health food, you know, he tried it and he's like, it's awesome. Will you make it again? And he said, Kelly, this is like the best meatloaf ever. And my dad is one of those people that analyzes everything. <laughs> like, he's been known to say to my mom, who has cooked him a homemade breakfast, lunch, and dinner his entire life, he'll be like, Kathy, this isn't your best. My mom's like, behind him, like, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> But, so those are two really easy, yummy recipes um, that I wanted to share with you. And if you want, write me, I'm happy to type it up. But um, I don't really use a recipe anymore because you know, you can't, you can't go wrong with that. So um, what other questions do you guys ask me? And bring on the questions, bring them on. Um, I would like some questions on what other vegetables to eat. I'm getting a little tired of broccoli. Um, but I think that's it. I shared with you guys that um, cappuccino maker and here it is already in my sink because I had one last night at like 11. Yeah, that's why I took Excedrin PM at 12.30. <laughs> no, I took Excedrin PM because I have too much on my mind. My mind is exploding with ideas and clients and business and stuff, so I just, I haven't been able to sleep, but and I'm also, I'm not even going to go there. I was going to say something mean, but I'm not going to say anything mean because I wish nothing but the best for all of the world. Can you read my mind right now? <laughs> except my neighbors who, like I've told you, not only, oh, oh, did I just jump on the floor? Oh, I'm sorry. That probably made a bunch of noise downstairs, didn't it? Well, guess what? I jump on the floor a lot because my neighbors have brought out the most immature, mean, vindictive side to me. Because not only do they have this boring, not boring, annoying as all hell, yippy ass dog that they refuse to train, now they have a child who screams and screams at all hours of the morning. And I'm telling you, it's a joke, you guys. As long as I live here, I will never sleep because when I go to bed and now I have to take Excedrin PM to get to sleep, this freaking demon child at two in the morning and four in the morning, I kid you not, God strike me dead if I'm lying, is screaming bloody hell at two in the morning. You know, and then they let him cry for a little bit. And his bedroom, apparently, this is why I'll never buy a condo again that's one story. My last place was two stories, this is one. And apparently my bedroom is right above little baby Damien's bedroom. So every time little baby decides to have a little 
fit, <laughs> I'm trying not to swear, then I get woken up. I, I loathe and detest my neighbors more than anybody on this earth. I think, I, who would I hate more than them? Is there anybody? I don't think so. But uh, I know that's mean. I know that goes against everything I say. But really, um, tell me a solution, people, because they could care less. I've had the police called on them. The associations had to get involved. I've written them a two-page letter saying, do you understand how you've ruined my life that I, I cannot even enjoy the, the peace and quiet of my own home? Because there is no peace and quiet here. Because if that dog's here, it's Arr! And now I have a screaming child that's me all the time. I mean, try to imagine that. It's from hell. And the thing is, in all of this time, I've been here a year, never once have they ever apologized to me. If I created that type of a nightmare for one of my neighbors, I would be mortified. I would send them flowers, I would call, I would knock on their door and be like, I'm so, so sorry. And I would work on it. They just don't care. So I'm working on different unique things to get back at them, quite frankly. Not really. Anyway, it's lunchtime, you guys. I have got to get started on this day. But um, shout outs to all my friends. And uh, Arenado, you rock. Even if you got it through the second vlog, you're probably bored out of your mind. Like, why in the world am I here? Did I fall asleep and hit my head? Anyway, uh, today's my off day, so there's no workouts today. But I wanted to tell you guys, again, make it a great week. I'm going to give myself a B, maybe a B minus on last week because I didn't work out Friday. Um, and my workout was a little bit lame yesterday. My eats were on. Um, now that I've finally gotten my sorry butt to the grocery store and to Trader Joe's, I have a variety of great foods. I've got yogurt, I've got chicken, I've got turkey, I've got tilapia, I've got my vegetables, I've got my fruits, I've got shrimp cocktail. I'm ready to go. So um, I'm taking it easy today, enjoying the cleanup that I am dreading after I click stop. But um, that's it. Have a great week. And then I have this to look forward to today. My new Oxygen magazine. Oh, oh, and my new Fast Company magazine. But check it out, everybody. Snaps to Cynthia. Hopefully I can turn right to it. Look at my, look at Cynthia. Of course, what I think is funny about this page, Cynthia, did you notice this? How like obviously they cut the picture out and, and put it here so your hair and everybody's hair kind of looks like an alien. Not that you look like an alien. I shouldn't say that because Cynthia will come over and beat me. Um, but you rock. So I wanted to point that out. So get your Oxygen magazine. And I have to tell you, it cracks me up because I still have a, a subscription to fitness. And sometimes, I do have to say, this one had some good like um, moves I might incorporate into my red carpet ready workouts. But most of the time I look at the women in here and it's like they don't have an ounce of muscle tone in them. They're just like skinny 18 year old girls. And the articles are just crappy, or not crappy, but most of them are like, these people write in letters like, Dear Fitness, I've noticed that pink is the new color for spring. How can I incorporate that into my wardrobe? You need to get out more. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Wish me luck. Out.